Hello friends, welcome again to the world of maths by Amiya. We have a question. I would say please read the question, try to solve the question. I hope you have read the question or at least you tried and try to understand what is the question all about. We have to find the sum of product of all possible pairs of non-conjugative numbers between 1 to 10, including both. Now understand the question in the better way. We have three type of questions in front of you. This question is the main question. Sum of product of all possible pairs of non-conjugative numbers between 1 to 10, including both, is what? Sum of product of all possible pairs of numbers between 1 to 10, including both. Here the non-conjugative numbers. What is the sum of all possible pairs? Here we have all possible pairs. Here we have non-conjugative numbers. Sum of product of all possible pairs of conjugative numbers between 1 to 10. Here we have conjugative numbers. Can we say all possible pairs means what? All possible pairs is nothing but conjugative plus non-conjugative. So can we say if we need to find question number first, that is the main question. If you find the A and subtract B means total. If you find the total all possible pairs minus conjugative will get non-conjugative. I hope this one is clear. Sum of all possible pairs between 1 to 100 is what? We'll solve this question. Sum of product of all possible pairs of conjugative numbers will solve this question. So we have to solve question number A, question number B to get the question number 1. This is one of the method. There are another method also. First, solve the question number A. Sum of product of all possible pairs of numbers between 1 to 100. What do you mean by possible pairs? Whenever we have a question of sum of product of all possible pairs, it's nothing but what? If we say we have A and two only two numbers, then the possible pair is only AB. And there is no summation because we have only two numbers. If I say we have ABC, then the possible pairs are AB, AC and BC. And we are looking for the summation. I hope this one is clear. If we have four numbers, A, B, C, D, then we have what? We have AB, we have AC we have AD, then we have BC, then we have BD, then we have CD and the summation of all. These are the all possible pairs might be conjugative, might not be conjugative. How do we find all these? If you remember this one, AB, AB plus AC plus BC. Now we have AB plus AC plus AD plus BC plus BD plus CD. Do you recall anything? If not, then please check. What is the value of a plus b whole square? a plus b whole square is nothing but twice of a b plus a square plus b square. I hope this one is clear. What is a plus b plus c whole square? a plus b plus c whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square plus twice of a b plus a c plus b c. What is the value of a plus b plus c plus d whole square? My dear friends, a plus b plus c plus d whole square is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus twice of a b twice a c twice a d and so on. So we can say if you want the sum of all product possible pairs means we are working on a perfect square conditions. I hope this one is clear. We have to get the pair of 1 to 10 all possible. So we can say it is nothing but 1 plus 2 plus 3 whole square is nothing but 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to 100 square plus 2 into the required value that is 1 into 2 and so on. We write it nothing but sigma AB. The sigma AB is the summation of all possible pairs. I hope this one is clear. What is this? This is nothing but the sigma 10. 1 plus 2 plus 3 whole square is nothing but sigma 10 square. That is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square is equal to sigma AB. Means 1 to 10. Whenever you have to find the summation of product of all possible pairs, use this one. We know sigma 10 is what? 10 into 11 by 2 whole square. That is nothing but 55 whole square. Sigma 10 square we know. Sigma n square is nothing but n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. So for the 10 square we can say 10 into 11 
into 21 divided by 6 plus 2 into sigma ab the required value from 1 to 10. So we can say this is nothing but 55 hall square is nothing but 3025 is equal to that is 7 that is 5 35 that is nothing but 5 8 3 plus 2 into sigma required value a b 1 to 10 i hope this one is clear so by this we can say sigma a b the required value is nothing but 3025 minus 385 divided by 2 and after solving we will get nothing but 1320 so please remember this one sum of product of all possible pairs of numbers between 1 to 10 is nothing but sigma 10 square plus sigma 10 square plus 2 sigma alpha beta we are looking for this one or you can directly say if you have to find this one means you are looking for nothing but sigma 10 square minus sigma 10 square divided by 2 if it is from 1 to 10 if it is from 1 to 15 sigma 15 square minus sigma 15 square divided by 2 sigma n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 and we know sigma n is nothing but n into n plus 1 divided by 2 so i use just two formulae and solve the value so the answer of 1 is nothing but 1 3 2 0 but this is not our question now we have to solve Question B also, sum of product of all possible pairs of conjugative numbers from 1 to 10. That is nothing but 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 up to 9 into 10. And I have uploaded a video on this AP product series. And this one is nothing but 9 into 10 into 11 divided by 3. That is nothing but 330. If you want to check the detailed concept of this one, the video link is given in the description of this video. So we find the answer of B is nothing but 330. Answer of A is 1320. Answer of B is 330. And we have our main question. Our answer of this question is the total is 1320 minus conjugative is 330 is nothing but 990. I hope this one is our answer. So we solved three questions. Question number one is all possible pair that is nothing but sigma n square minus sigma n square plus 2 sigma required. Question number two is what? Conjugative numbers that is 1 into 2, 2 into 3 and we solved that is nothing but 330. And question number three is the main question. That is total minus conjugative is our answer. I hope this one is clear. Okay, I tried my best to answer the question with concept. Now it's your time to give your best. This is your homework. Instead of 10, it is 15. Now solve this and consider this as a homework and solve this question. Okay. If you have any doubt, feel free to ping me. Okay. Thank you and happy learning and be happy. Bye-bye.